Normally I would compile a list of five games, show them off to you guys and end the video there, but this video is going to be a little bit different. So I downloaded 10 free games on my phone and I'm going to try five of them. And if you want to see me try five more, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and leaving a comment down below to let me know that you want to see more. Yeah. We're going to start with Bitcoin Bounce. Hey Siri, start a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Starting now. So basically I'll try playing and explaining a little bit of how the game works So I'm supposed to get these tickets as many as I can and here's one ticket two tickets I need to get like 14 Tickets and then with those tickets I can enter the raffle to actually win uh, Bitcoin so let's see how much I can win in just 10 minutes of playing I don't expect to win way too much But you know it is what it is. Let's give it a shot. Uh, I'm pretty good at these games eh. Fourteen tickets, you say? I already have freaking twenty-seven. Ah, damn! Twenty-nine tickets for my first game. All right, um, I'm gonna just skip this and kind of see where we're at with the twenty-nine. So twenty-nine out of forty-five. All right, so forty-five tickets. Oh no, this is how many I missed in my run. So there were forty-five tickets, and out of those forty-five, I got twenty-nine tickets. All right, but what can I do with them? That's the real question. All right, so I have five sats, and I could claim them, but I don't have a lightning wallet. So let's get that wallet. No way, I actually did earn five Satoshis right now, are you kidding me? I wanna bounce this Bitcoin so hard, man, like it's never been bounced before. So, 10 Satoshis claimed in 10 minutes of playing, pretty cool. Um, it's free to play, it didn't, it didn't spend anything except for watching the ads, basically, so that's how they earn their income, I would guess. But apart from that, pretty cool, moving on to game number two, Setin Arena. And yes, I have played Tetan Arena in the past, but this time I'm gonna log in as a guest. Uh, your progress might not be saved, I don't care, let's just continue, I'm gonna play as a guest Just to get to see how hard it is for newcomers who just jumped into the game to actually play I'm gonna go into one game and see what happens Alright, claiming my three heroes, let's see which ones I get A lot of people say that playing for free limits you and that when you play for free you can't earn as much as when you pay for an NFT and obviously that's true because when paying for an NFT you earn 7.5 coins per win and when you don't have an NFT you basically don't earn anything per win you only earn when you level up but apart from that you you're not supposed to get any gameplay benefits from having NFTs so anyway my timer is already running so let's quickly jump into a game and let me actually pick my hero first I'm gonna go with steel shot I, I got him for free obviously these guys are not NFTs and let me just change up my skills as well we're playing a deathmatch, apparently. Let's go! Deathmatch is basically the team that has the most uh, kills, basically, in the end, at the end of the timer, when the timer runs out, wins the game. Don't need explaining how the game works, I know how it works. Let's go! Jumping into the game, guys, here we go! Root for your boy, root for your boy, I'm gonna destroy them. I played so much of this game. Five, four, three, two, double kill. <laughs> Did you see that guys the winning kills we were down and I'm the MVP obviously there we go uh, with four kills I dude I demolished them at the end there that was such a pro gamer move let's go <laughs> all right we got four more minutes on the counter so let's play one more game basically I'm finishing tutorial one and by the time I would get to recruit four so between recruit four and recruit five uh, um i would get my second batch of thc coins and right now i can claim my first batch so that's 10 coins and uh, you can't claim them obviously until you get to bronze one and bronze one is all the way let's go and even more this is private bronze bronze two and bronze one and right here you're going to be able to finally claim uh, your coins and exchange them for dollars but until then you're just earning them so let's go for another match I, I think I have just enough time for another match uh, just to see what's gonna happen you know for a new gamer a new account let's see what's gonna happen triple kill, triple kill for your boy what's happening man I'm <laughs> destroying them five four three two Another win under the belt, am I the MVP? I'm not, but I am a serial killer. I killed nine people in that game, dude. And I just got to recruit four. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely possible to go up the ranks even when you're all alone. Um, that's been 10 minutes of Tetan Arena. And let me just claim those sweet coins.
But third game on the list, we're gonna check out Doge Dash. And I know Doge Dash, in order to actually even play, in order to uh, be in the pool to earn the crypto, you need to invest a little bit. At least that's what happened before. That's how it used to be. So let's kind of see. Okay, I can play this with one hand. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm a little Doge. Basically like Mario, it just goes on its own and all I'm doing is jumping and dying, uh, apparently. But alright, timer's going, let's basically see what's gonna happen after 10 minutes of playing, guys. There's no homepage, basically, this is the homepage, so I'm not really sure how I'll be able to claim the coins. Oh, okay, and the longer I press, the longer I jump, okay, that's what I wanted to figure out, so, okay. Okay, got it, got it, got it, here we go. I just wanna see how you can actually claim the coins, but I guess we'll figure that out later. But the way it's supposed to work is uh, you can only claim your coins after you get to level 10, and a lot of people told me getting to level 10 without dying once is pretty much next to impossible, and I just wanna see if that's true. If I can get to level 10, then I guess without practicing a lot, uh, you can't get there, so... And, okay, I just got the game over, so you have three lives, so you... It's not if you die once, uh, you actually need to die a lot of times in order to, you know, be disqualified from earning. And you collect the coins along the way, and I guess you can claim them, because Doge Dash does have their own coin, and uh, when it came out, it did do pretty damn well. I'm not sure where it's at right now, but I guess there's gonna be something on the screen uh, telling you guys where it's at right now. Now, so uh, I'm not even gonna bother with these birds, you know, I'm just gonna jump over them and give me that big coin Thank you level one done. All right, so that's that's what's up Well, that was easy. All right. Well the animation looked pretty cool, but we have uh, four minutes left and we are on level three Danger ahead. Let's go and do this. Hello danger. My name is the inspector. I still have to die the first time in this playthrough Ah, damn, come on! I died the first time, there we go. Well, I called it, I kinda jinxed it. Died the second time, and it's just level three. All right, we beat level three, let's go. No, come on! I know it gets progressively harder as the game goes on, but... Uh, yeah, we got the level four uh, for our first real playthrough. So I really wouldn't say the game is too hard. As a lot of people said, it's too hard, you can't really play that much. You, there's no way you're gonna beat ten levels. No, it, it's definitely possible. I would say it's definitely possible. If I tried like five or six times, I would definitely be able to beat it. But right now, when I move on to the next game, because it's already been over ten minutes. Alright, so for game number four, we're gonna try the Crypto Slicer Android game. Let's give it a shot. I don't know if it's available for iOS, but it definitely is available for Android. I am using an Android phone. So you're earning SRK coins. Again, I don't know what it is. If it's a coin that's available or on coin market cap or anywhere, I'm gonna put the chart right there so you guys can see uh, what the coin actually is. You can buy their NFTs on OpenSea. And I guess I need to actually register in order to see how much I can earn. All right, finally, after freaking 15 minutes, I registered. I put my account in, I made a new account, I connected it to the Google Play Store, and did everything. All right, let's see if I'm gonna earn any money now. Boom, give me that crypto. All right, we're at level two. I'm gonna try and destroy this and uh, why am I bad at these games, but then I'm good at like the MOBA games and the really hard ones? This is way harder than the one before. And this is a spinning Binance? Oh, and now it spins in reverse? Come on, bro. It's not cool. Okay, I'm gonna let it do, I'm gonna let it do its thing. Alright, you do your thing and whenever you're ready to stop, you just stop. Oh, come on. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, come on, how many knives does it take, dude? All right, I see a little gap here. All right, as soon as the gap gets close to me... Boom! Let's freaking go! Why am I watching the ad now? I, I, I beat it! Oh, I hate this game, man. I hate this game. I spent more time trying to connect my email and watching ads than actually playing the game. So, did I earn anything from this? Earned zero! Uninstall, get the hell out of here. All right, one more game to try. I heard Clash of Streamers is a scam, so I wanted to find out if it is or not. Uh, we have Splinterlands, Crypto Shooter, I really don't know which one to try. We got 10 minutes to play one game and see if we are gonna earn anything at all. All right, you know what, let's try this game called Crazy Defense. All right, let's try it. Our lands are under attack by Kings Gone Crazy, we must defend them. All right, I already like this. All right, placing my defenses right now. Um, Two defenses right here. I definitely think I'm gonna like it. Let's go. Yeah, screw those orcs. They ain't getting past my archers. So it says right here they are play to earn and free to play. And they have events uh, called daily star chest events. 
where you can play Torin basically. So what the he so here's a star chest. Collect 16 stars to get the star chest. Okay, I think I can do that within 10 minutes. Let's collect. I have uh, how many stars do we have? Three. Yes, I have three. Out of 16, I think I can definitely get 16 and see how much money I can earn. Uh, I got about six more minutes to go, so let's see if I can do this. All right, the orcs are coming from here. I'm gonna leave them a few traps, and I have my guy right here that's also gonna attack them. All right, guy, go. Go, 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 go. Attack, attack the orcs. Nice, man. Let's freaking go. I'm gonna put another trap here. All right, that was easy. They didn't even get to my last line of defense. Three more stars. Let's go. I have a minute and a half. Come on. A minute and a half and I need to win two more games. I don't know if it's possible. Let's go. I'm gonna keep going anyway. I wanna open the star chest. All right. Just look at this, man. Look at my face while playing this game. I'm so focused and this is what these games do best. They draw you in and then they force you to pay a microtransaction in order to keep playing or in order to earn more money. In hindsight, looking at this, I'm not a fan. But then again, here's what I said during the playing and after I was done with the 10 minutes. Oh, freaking finally, I'm getting so immersed in the game, I keep forgetting I'm recording a video. Alright, 16 stars. How much crypto did I earn? $10,000? Can be collected once every 16 hours. What the hell did it just get? Oh, to hell with you and your microtransactions. I gotta say, man, it, while it is fun to play, I don't know about this last one, too many microtransactions. Um, not clearly stated how you can earn crypto in. Point is, I got 10,000 of those coins, I have no idea what to do with them, I have no idea how to withdraw or convert in any currency or anything really. Uh, they say that this is the play tour mechanic where you get 16 stars and claim it for a chest and the chest gets you around the reward that can be coins. Now which coins? I don't know, it's never stated. Uh, then again, I did play only for 20-ish minutes, so maybe if I play more I would figure it out, but this was the premise of the video, 10 minutes per game. I spent way more on this game than I should have, so it does the job right of hooking you in. Not that that's a good thing. It is definitely not a good thing. Oh man, I've been recording this video for a while. A good while. It's been over an hour of me just recording this, so... My name is The Inspector, and I'll see you, all... <laughs> and I'll see you on Sunday for the next video. Peace out, man.